Hey guys, it's Josh. This is like take five of this video. Um, which is surprising because this is the one that I'm most probably going to upload. Uh, normally it takes me at least seven takes to get something right. Um, but hopefully I get this one right. So, this, if you don't know, is a synthesizer that I made using this electronics building kit uh, called Snap Circuits. Uh, this is actually a combination of two. Um, sets. Uh, although I think I only used pieces from the second set except for the second whistle chip and that and that uh, resistor. Anyways, so literally this is a synthesizer. It works. It, the sound is similar to that of a theremin actually um, and working with it is similar to working with the theremin as well. Uh, so I'm gonna make sure you guys can see that. So uh, you got two battery packs. Um, these are obviously important. They supply power. You've got um, I'm not gonna go over the full build of it. If you guys want to see a build, uh, let me know in the comments or something. Um, like the actual building process, uh, but it's complicated. I don't even know what like this. I don't know specifically how this works. I've never really dealt in. Uh, you know, making power amplifiers and things like that, um, so I don't know how they work, but they do. So yeah, um, the basic uh, version of this, which was originally just a project in one of the manuals, was basically you had, so you'd cut it off after this, and then uh, I think these two were connected. I, I don't remember fully, but it made a sort of trombone-like sound. It was actually uh, just a basically a triangle wave. Um, but yeah, um, but it was like I don't know. Uh, so I basically extended these pairs of. Um, capacitors and then whistle chips by the way uh, I have two of these stacked on top of each other on top of a, of a 0.02 uh, capacitor these act as those so I have three of them so I've got a total of 0.06 basically being stored and discharged through this um, which is still like half that um, half this first one way less than all the others but yeah, um, so it's basically a sequence of capacitors uh, followed immediately by resistors after this wire, obviously, because you do have to connect them. Um, this has a weird effect on the sound. It makes it modulate just a little bit in frequency um, and amplitude. Uh, it's almost imperceptible. This gives it the theremin-like sound that it has. Uh, it's a photoresistor, so the amount of light that uh, actually touches the inside of it, which you wouldn't be able to see if I were to hold it up, because this camera's pretty bad. Uh, and I don't want to break this synthesizer. Uh, so this is a very simple uh, synth, actually. It's not the most crazy, over-the-top thing that you've got. It's just kind of cool to play with. So this is a power switch. Turns it on. You're not hearing anything because this variable resistor uh, is turned all the way up, so it's out of human frequency. It's actually emitting sound still. So now... Alright, so without touching, dealing with anything, you've just got this nice, clean sound. get some kind of cool sound effects just by tweaking it right at the edge. Drop it all the way. You've got a nice bassy sounding thing. I'm using a lot of light in this room right now. I've got outdoor light. I've got um, like an overhead light going. It's very bright in here because these this overhead light is extremely bright. Obviously outdoor light is extremely bright. So it's very bright and basically that lowers the pitch by a lot if I were to say turn off uh, the light 
Um, it would uh, bump the frequency up. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. It would bump the uh, frequency of the sounds up. All right, and this photoresistor has different effects, basically at different frequencies. So at lower frequencies, like this, it's a lot more. It's a lot more reactive. But up here. I'm actually touching the resistor, the photoresistor, and just wiggling my finger to create that sort of weird effect. Now I'm not touching it at all. that I figured out was that if you move so you leave this end of this black wire sorry it moved over if you move this end of this black wire over or no if, if you leave that there sorry if you move this one around you can get some kind of noisy sounds which could be useful Silence is up. And if you run the current through your body, you can get some really cool effects. Touching them together achieves the same effect as running it. Running it like that. This one doesn't actually need to be connected, but it lets you change the sound a little bit. Very useful. Uh, not actually touching the photoresistor right now. And now I am, a little bit. not the most musical display ever, but it makes cool sounds and that's sort of the purpose of this. sound here. If I'm being completely honest, I don't know what the majority of this does. Like, um, touching different points and whatnot, I don't know what most, most of these sounds do. It's one of the things you can do, is you can detach that. And they, you can get, yeah, you can do that. I don't even know what to call this. But, it's, uh, so the current is running through my body right now. Sorry, I had that pull off the side. All right, running it through your body, your body does offer resistance. So the sound that you hear using your finger might be different from what you actually hear. See. 
And again, just experimenting with different uh, locations can give you different results. Like that. That actually nullifies it. But so you can get different noisy things. You can get a more pure note. A more, a more pure wave, sorry. Yeah, so that's a, um, probably the cheapest synthesizer you can get. Um, I think this kit costs like, uh, 50 bucks or so. I'm, I don't even remember, it's been a long time, and I got these for free, um, but yeah, so, Snap Circuit Synthesizer, it's pretty cool, I meant to do that, but my fingers were off camera, um, let me know what you think, and, uh, share the stuff you build based off this, because I honestly, I don't have all the parts, I'm missing some parts, I could totally use some more ones to just build off of this. Uh, note that I am using two uh, circuit plates, uh, which is why this is here, as I may or may not have said. I don't remember. The takes are sort of melding together. But, um, yeah. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, normal YouTuber stuff. Peace out.